Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Ro. As many of you know, I'm getting settled into my new place and I'm doing a bunch of little DIY projects to make it feel more like a home. And I just wanted to share the project that I'm currently doing with you. Today, I am making these awesome keyboard magnets. The first thing that we're gonna need is a keyboard. We have a ton of old keyboards lying around the house because I live with the gamer, but you can also find one at a thrift store. It's very inexpensive. Just make sure to wipe down the keys before you start. Lol, poppin' tags. Then you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver, a roll of magnetic tape. I found this at the craft store, Michaels. A pair of needle nose pliers and a pair of scissors and then a bunch of little hot gun glue sticks because we're going to be filling all the keys with these so just have a bunch of those, a hot glue gun and then I'm using parchment paper because this project is a little bit messy but if you don't have parchment paper you can just reuse some paper bags from the grocery store. These come in handy. To get started we are going to pop off all of the keys using our flathead screwdriver just get your screwdriver underneath the key and then twist. And then they just pop off. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> You're gonna do this to the entire board so it looks like this. A scappy, a scappy. Now you're gonna take your needle nose pliers, pick up a key, flip it upside down, and you're gonna see these taller plastic tabs. We are gonna remove those with our pliers. So I'm going down and pinching and twisting, and I'm gonna be doing that to all four sides to break all of these off. These plastic pieces break off really easy. You don't need to use much force, and there are a lot of keys to do, so you can find something fun to pass the time. I'm probably gonna be watching some Netflix. And that is what you want your key to look like when you're all done, hollowed out, nice and empty. Now I'm gonna take my pliers and do that to the rest of these keys. Dee -dee 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 -dee. After that's done, you're gonna take your hot glue gun, heat it up, and then we are gonna fill every key to the top with hot glue. There are many different ways to do this, so just do whatever feels comfortable. I found a technique that worked for me was just holding the key, placing the glue in the middle, kind of jiggling it around to get the glue into the corners, and then when I'm pulling away the gun, kind of letting the excess string fall in the middle. And then you can just pinch off the excess string. Hot glue always leaves string. And this is where that parchment paper really comes in handy because we're gonna make a little glue mess on the surface. But that's okay, it's okay to be messy. And then you're just gonna fill in all of your keys. I love working with hot glue because it dries really quickly. It dries within like five minutes. I have this awesome example where you can see it goes from fresh clear color to the foggy color. And you'll know when it's dry when it's foggy, right there at the end. Now you're going to take your scissors and that roll of magnetic tape and you're just going to roll out the magnetic tape and this side, this white side right here is actually a sticker. This is the side we're going to stick onto the key and then this back side right here, this magnetic strip is a side we're going to stick onto the refrigerator. Now I'm just taking a key, placing it on top of the tape and this is helping me see how big I should cut the pieces of tape to fit on the back side of the magnet. I'm a big fan of the eyeballing technique, so I'm just gonna cut a bunch of pieces for all these keys. You can also use a heavy duty magnet if you'd like, but the keys are lightweight, so the tape works just fine. Now to attach them, all you need to do is peel off the little piece of white paper on the back, and now this side is sticky, and you're gonna take a key and you're gonna stick the sticker uh, onto the top of the glue. Boom, 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 and there you have it, a completed keyboard key. I've done this to all of my keys, and I actually gutted two keyboards so I'd have more letters to spell more things. The more boards, the better, IMO. Now it's time to take all of these keys and finally put them on my fridge, ding! I just love keyboard magnets. I've always been a fan of those alphabet magnets. They're so fun to play with, but they're larger, and I like these because they're smaller, they save space, they kind of look more techy and chic. You can write cute little sayings on your fridge, like home sweet home or leave messages for your roommates or your family, like, I'll be home soon. You can even leave funny little inside jokes with your friends, like, salt in your game. Salt in your game. These magnets have made me very happy. I love making them. Bye-bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Oh.